I never thought I would regret leaving the Philippines this much, but today I really, really miss the Philippines. I miss the people, I miss the climate, and I especially miss the food. Maayong gabi ilangga! Maayong gabi ilangga! Gutom ako, gusto ko pork adobo. Can you please help me cook pork adobo? Of course, langga. I'll send you my recipe of adobo. Salamat, langga. So, Te is gonna send me a recipe to cook pork adobo. Adobo is like a very typical Filipino dish. It's like a, it's kind of like a style of cooking or something like that. And you can cook like chicken adobo, fish adobo, and I don't know what else, but, but my favorite is pork adobo. So I got the recipe from Te now and I see I'm gonna need pork belly, uh, garlic, dried bay leaves, vinegar, soy sauce, peppercorn, and, and salt. Let's see if we had some. Hey Mark, can I use this to make pork adobo? So the first step says I need to combine the pork belly, the soy sauce and the garlic but I assume I need to cut the pork belly first. Also I'm by no means a chef so if I'm doing something wrong Feel free to comment below in the comments and um, help me to make better adobo. I also put the recipe of this adobo in the description below so if you want to try it, it'll be there. I'm also not exactly 100% sure how I should cut this but I, I know that normally you get it in these fine blocks so I'm just gonna try and cut it up in small blocks. I'm done with I, what I think is the hardest part of this process, cutting up the pork. So now I need to mix the pork belly with soy sauce and garlic. And I'm gonna use half a cup of soy sauce. <laughs> I ran out of soy sauce. Do we have more soy sauce? Yes. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna add the soy sauce now and then I think it is half a tablespoon of garlic. Two tablespoons of garlic. Okay. So I need to make sure that I mix it in really well. Get that soy sauce all around the, the pieces of pork. I remember Ted doing this. I never actually tried it before, but I hope I'm doing it the correct way. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this here so it can marinate. And while it's marinating, I'm gonna... I don't have any red horse, but I do have black label. So I will just act like I have red horse. It will just have to do. It's a bit hard to throw a beer and record it at the same time, so it made a lot of fun, but anyway. <laughs> While I'm preparing the adobo, my mom's going through some photos when they were in the Philippines. And here they were eating, what is this? Do you think it's adobo? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this photo taken? Um, Dumaguete. In Dumaguete? Yes. Do you miss the Philippines? Of course. Are you gonna come back and visit me when I go there? I'm gonna stay there with you. Are you gonna stay there? <laughs> okay, so I guess the marinade is almost ready. My dad is preparing some vegetables. Mom's also preparing some vegetables. I'm just gonna get that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I can probably uh, do the adobo now on the stove. Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, this one will do. It says I need to get all the marinade out from the pot into the thingy. I think that's good. Need to see the rest of the recipe. Add water, whole peppercorn, and dried bay leaves. 40 minutes to one hour. I will get the too big. <laughs> that is too big. Too big is water. Okay. This is a good time to tell you about our sponsor. This episode of the vlog is sponsored by Oasis Water. So if you're in South Africa, this is the water that you need. Whole pepper. Okay. One tablespoon. Two cups of water. Oops. Okay, so I almost messed up. I just randomly started putting in the water. So I need to put two cups. Okay, now it says five pieces of dried bay leaves. One. That's four. Right. Okay, now so according to the recipe, I need to let it simmer for 40 minutes to one hour. I just need to mention again that I absolutely do not know what I'm doing, so... <laughs> so feel free to help me in the comments. I might do a, like a re -try. If it's a terrible fail, I'll redo it. I almost forgot about the rice. I'll do the rice. Yeah, you can't forget about the rice because no rice, no power. No power, no boom boom. What do you think? Am I doing good? Yes, it looks nice. I hope it comes out well, because if it doesn't, my parents might not um, let me make food again. Which is which is not a bad thing. You can just buy KFC. Jollibee. There's no Jollibee here. So next it says I need to add vinegar and then let it simmer for another 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, that's four tablespoons of vinegar. Okay, so the final step is to put some salt. The recipe just says salt to taste, but I think the meat has already been spiced like before I even cut it. So I'm just gonna taste it before I put some salt. Maybe it's not necessary. Also, my mom is very sensitive to salt. So there's this thing that I saw that you need to do like just before you are done you need to take some of the sauce in the spoon and then you need to go ask people if it's good taste it mm. it's good? very good not too salty, like does, it, does it need more salt? no no salt Okay, so I'm gonna turn this down now and I'm not gonna add salt like the recipe says because of the spices, you know, anyway. So now I'm just gonna wait for the rest of the food to cook and then we will spin to when we taste it. Okay, it's time to uh, dish up and try the adobo. Put it in the spot. We also have some rice here and some vegetables. Gonna 
Okay, so here goes the first taste of my homemade adobo made in South Africa. I'm sorry if it's terrible, but I hope it will be okay. Government should actually try to get the AstraZeneca vaccine back into the country. You'll be well aware that we sold the AstraZeneca vaccine. Not bad. Thank you. He wrote to his. Bomb broke me some potatoes as well. And he said, I wrote to freedom. Some crispy potatoes. I've tried not to falter. He's speaking, I, I think he's gonna lock us down again. I'm gonna pair this uh, adobo with some red wine, which is normally very good with. Uh, with meat. I'm just gonna scoop a good piece of rice with this adobo. Take a sip of wine. We could take a more careful mm -hmm. approach to the public health regulations. Perhaps we are fed up with wearing a mask. When mm. you see nobody objects or complains. It's really, really good. I think I still need a little bit of work, but I'm really keen to hear what you guys say. What do you think, Dad? And then it's, it's like a sock, right? It's like a sock? They're, it's soft. they're saying it's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. It's very tasty. How do you like the sauce? Mm. This is my second favorite Filipino dish. Very good for your first time cooking. And now for some of the vegetables. The first way, and as we did. This is like broccoli. What's it? Broccoli? Cauliflower. Cauliflower with some um, cheese and my mom's special sauce. And then I'm also, we also have some butternut. Thanks, mom. The vegetables are good. <laughs> Ah, so that was really good. Um, we are on the lockdown again, which is not so good. And the other thing that's not so good is that I think my parents actually like this, so I'm gonna probably have to do this again. <laughs> and um, we have one family member who has not tasted this yet, so I'm gonna let him taste this uh, piece of adobo I left over for him. We will be able to rapidly increase the rate of vaccine continuing to you like it Romeo? You like it? Okay so anyway that's the end of this video. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>